all hematomas are not unique to dogs, although we tend to see the surgical reparation in dogs primarily. Um, cats too can get oral hematomas and they can heal without surgery, just doing a, a quick laceration over the uh, hematoma, draining, icing, and putting a little bit of a steroid in there. Uh, and they will heal sometimes with a little bit of a, a cauliflower ear, like a little crinkle to the ear, um, but they can do quite well without surgery. What about your tech's hand? <laughs> <laughs> the hematomas tend to form with excessive shaking of the head, um, as is seen with animals with ear infections. An incision was placed over the oral hematoma to release the pressure and the fluid from the ear. The opening was then elongated so that it didn't heal too quickly. A small amount of steroid was placed into the pinna and the ear was cleaned and medicated. At home, the owners iced the ear and continued medication and the cat healed up just fine. Not surprisingly, the culprit of the dietary indiscretion in this case was a lab. Labrador retrievers are great family dogs, however they have a penchant for eating everything and anything. This poor guy was left in the back seat with a very tempting, very deep dish apple pie. And um, while he was waiting, he decided to consume the entire thing. None of the ingredients were toxic or poisonous per se. He just happened to have a sensitive stomach and the amount of fat and sugar in the pie would be sure to send him into gastroenteritis or pancreatitis um, <laughs> given the amount he consumed in such a short period of time. And so we proceeded as we would with any simple toxic case, uh, make them vomit, fluids, charcoal. Feral cats are those that are not domesticated. They live outdoors, they're wild, and they live in colonies. What a friendly, huh? Ooh, we have a rescue society with a trap and release program where they capture these feral cats, bring them in for the works. They're neutered, microchipped, checked for feline leukemia, FIV, treated for fleas. Okay, let's see if he's ready. I don't blame you. Get away from him. Ready? She married. Woo, no. <laughs> This guy had a wound of unknown origin that had become necrotic. It was very shallow, didn't quite look like an abscess, but um, it needed to be attended to. Take it. Yeah. Do it right over. Right on top. Pop it out. Pop it out. Oh my god. I mean, you still got a minute and a half, but there's nothing coming up on it. So take the tunic off. So now this is open because that was the tunic. That, that was you the just tunic. Did. Yeah, cord and the vessel. Okay, and then just tie it. So I got one. Now you can do hand ties. I do hand ties. Yeah. So there's one knot. So for this mature male, we neutered him, treated him for fleas, cleaned up and repaired his wound, tested him for feline leukemia and FIV. Uh, remarkably, he was negative for both. In repairing this wound, we used an absorbable suture known as Rapid Vicryl. It's not a typical suture that we use in this situation, however, we wanted him to be able to heal and not have to worry about taking the sutures out at a later date.
We then microchipped him and notched his ear. Outdoor cat skin. The ear notching is a way to identify these cats at a distance to know that they have already been trapped and uh, given the works.